Hey guys, welcome to another lesson here at THSS Technology. Uh, today we're going to continue on with our SketchUp lessons by starting your first big project here, the one bedroom condo that we've been talking so much about. So we've got a lot to cover here, so let's get started. Um, one, uh, one new thing we're going to learn here today is how to use the measurements panel. So down here at the bottom right hand of your screen, it'll say measurements or it'll say dimensions. Uh, that enables us to get very exact and precise sizing whenever we're creating our objects. So here, for example, if I hit R for the rectangle tool and I start to draw out this sheep, shape, we can see it's about roughly 10 by 12 meters right now. You can see that there in the bottom right hand corner. Let's hit escape to cancel that. So not only can we see the size of shapes as we're making them, we can actually also set precise sizing for those shapes. So if I start and click and uh, start moving my rectangle, but let's say I type 10 comma 10, hit enter, it'll make it exactly a 10 by 10 uh, box there. Excellent. And uh, this will come in handy when you're doing your condos because then you can create very precise sizing. Uh, the sizing I'm going to do for my condos, I'm actually going to do 8 by 15, uh, which is a fair size, standard uh, shoebox shape condo. Uh, you can see your little person here. You're welcome to move them around as you're doing your editing just to kind of see the layout of your rooms and the space that you're going to require. Okay. So once you've drawn the basic foundation here for your condo, the next step is you're going to draw the individual bedrooms or rooms you're going to be having in your space. So I'm going to start by kind of looking at my overall layout, and I kind of envision that you're going to, you're going to enter the condo down here at the bottom um, and uh, at the back of the unit. I think that's where we're going to put the bedrooms, like a nice big open space when you first kind of go into the place here. So uh, at the back of the place, I'm going to draw our bedroom, and I'm going to make it roughly a third of the size. That looks good. So a third of the living, a uh, third of your house is going to be your bedroom here. Uh, and as you can see, that's quite a large bedroom. Uh, enough room to, you know, have a queen size bed, maybe some end tables, a cap, uh, you know, like a, a bureau, if you will. Um, and then over on this side of the room, let's uh, make a nice wall-to-wall -wall closet. Doesn't need to be a walk-in closet, just large enough to kind of put your stuff. Obviously, if you fit in the closet, all is well. And then on this side of the room, we're going to do a full ensuite bathroom, uh, three-piece bathroom there for our home owner. Once again, let's check to make sure. Yeah, that looks to be a pretty good size. And uh, okay, that's looking pretty good for the bedroom. Uh, so next, let's move on to the rest of the living space. I'm going to add a, uh, a second, like a guest bathroom here. Now, this is just going to be a two-piece bathroom, so it doesn't need to be as big. Enough room for a sink and a toilet and a little medicine cabinet, maybe. So that looks good. Uh, it's good to have your bathroom share walls. It makes it easier for, uh, for the plumbers, of course. Now, you're not actually going to be doing any plumbing yourself, but it's good to kind of think like that way. Uh, next, let's draw a little washer and dryer room here, like a laundry room. A little stand-up washer and dryer unit would fit nicely in there. And then down here by the entryway, I'm going to make a nice large hall closet. It's always good to have a little bit of space here at the entryway for coats and such, uh, shoes and all that, you know. That looks pretty good layout, actually. I'm pretty happy with that. Um, so I'm kind of envisioning, you know, maybe in this corner, there'll be a corner kitchen here, maybe an island here, living room over here. And over here, you can put a little, like, computer nook or reading area, bookcase or something like that, whatever. Uh, whatever you fancy there. So let's move this guy outside of the room, and let's move on to the next step where we're going to be creating the walls for our condo. And for that, we're going to use the offset tool. You might remember the offset offset tool from a previous lesson. And the offset tool works by making an exact copy of your face, but then you can make it bigger or smaller. And of course, I mean the 3D modeling face, not your actual face. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to make our walls about 10 centimeters thick, or 0.1 meters. So you can see down there at the bottom right, you could try to move your mouse to get to that 0.1. There we go, that's actually 0.1. But it can be kind of tedious and annoying. So uh, instead of moving the mouse to get to 0.1, I'm just going to type 0.1 on my number pad, and then click Enter. And I'm going to do that for all the rooms. So I'm going to click down here in the closet, 0.1. Laundry room, I'm going to click 0.1. Click 0.1. Click 0.1. And then finally, one more left click on that room, and then point one. And now we've created walls for all of our spaces here. But we have a problem. We have this wall within a wall here, and we actually have to get rid of that. So for that, we're going to press E for the eraser tool. You can click the eraser tool up at the top here, and we're going to delete all of those extra walls. So let's get rid of these here. Delete, delete, and finally delete. Perfect. OK. Uh, last step before we actually raise the walls up, and we're going to draw the doorways. And for that, we're going to go back to the rectangle tool, 
And I'm just going to freehand draw all these doorways. You're welcome to measure them if you'd like. Uh, but I'm going to draw all these doorways in here, there, there, with the doorway to the bathroom up there, and then a big sliding door there in the bedroom. Once you've drawn the doorways, last step, go to that push-pull tool, hover over the wall, and start to drag it up. And I'm going to make my walls 3.25 meters tall. Um, and there you have it. So now we have a basic floor plan of our condo, and now you can go through with the with the paint bucket tool, and um, you can uh, you can start to lay down some carpet. Everyone likes some nice Berber carpet. There we go. Lovely. Look at that. So that's hideous. Let's go to that one. That's much better. Anyways, you kind of get the idea, and uh, we will see you guys later. Okay. Thanks. Bye.